So the voting statistics are now in and it's just, yeah, I don't know how to get into this. Hey guys, this is Rod Morley. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. Guys, I'm not going anywhere. Like a lot of people asked me, oh Morad, you know, what are you going to do now, now that Love Island's end ended? What are you going to do? Guys, what was I doing between Love Island 2020 and Love Island 2021? What was I doing? Was I, was I not giving you content every single day? Some people will be asking me this and I just find it to be hilarious it's daily and consistent guys it doesn't stop here not until i pass away <laughs> but anyways let's get straight into this video head over to my tiktok let's get into this so the finale um stats have been released it would have been nice if they released the votes of who's more popular you know throughout each week that would have been interesting to see as well but this is what the votes were saying Total votes on Sunday were a million and the next day were nearly 880,000. Um, Millie and Liam received 42% of those votes, um, nearly 43. Chloe and Toby 30%, Faye and Teddy 14.5, Kaz and Tyler 12.3. The next day, Millie and Liam received 41%, Chloe and Toby 31%, Faye and Teddy 15, Kaz and Tyler 12.3. So it seems like, I don't know how, well, Kaz and Tyler, you know, and Faye and Teddy were a little bit close, but again, clearly lost. How did Kaz and Tyler's vote not move from Sunday to Monday? They both received 12.3 each day respectively and I just find that to be very confusing. And also the huge range between Chloe and Toby, Millie and Liam is at least 10%. 10% of the population of course for both days respectively as well. So it seems that I wouldn't say a landslide, it's not that huge of a gap. But at the same time, they were meant to win this competition guys. It is what it is. I do feel like it could have been rigged but at the same time I also do feel like you know what? The Facebook mums the you know fear 500 crowd who fantasize about getting cheated on and then go back to their man these people they just want to revoke for million liam and they just won this competition i just feel like it's just unfortunate because they're very forgettable and it's just going to be like a page and fin situation very very forgettable the ratings are also in as well and it was 2.9 million up nearly 600,000 people from love island 2020 up nearly 600,000 more people tuned into the season than last year's 2020 insane but of course down from love island season five which was 3.6 but it wasn't that far off just half a million or six hundred thousand wasn't that far off guys in all honesty i do think you know i'm gonna do a season wrap review and really discuss the highs and lows of the season and whether we've enjoyed it or not and my full-on not just review but overview of this in just just discussing it all I feel like i would like to do that so that will come out tomorrow because i feel like we all need to just sit back and see whether we like it or not from that kind of perspective Anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I will catch you guys soon for another video. Why is this so dark? Was it just me? Am I dark? Let me just go a bit forward. There we go, because I just feel like... Wow. Anyways, I'll catch you guys soon for another video.